Hi. In this video, we're going to solve a fairly simple uh, little equation, and we're going to solve it two ways. Uh, first of all, with algebra tiles, which I'll do over here, and second of all, with written algebra. Um, and I think it's maybe an important point to make that the things we're doing in both methods are exactly the same, um, but the way it looks is completely different, maybe. Um, but it's just very, very different ways of sort of looking at or drawing or writing uh, the exact same idea. Okay, um, so first of all, um, I should add my little key here. With my algebra tiles, um, I use the red to mean negative. Um, and different people have different colored algebra tiles. It doesn't matter as long as you know what's ne negative and what's positive. Red is negative. And as long as the person reading your work knows what's negative and what's positive. So if you don't have an agreement in your class or whatever, um, just make sure you make a little note in the corner of your work. Okay, so negative 8 equals 4x. So negative 8 is the same as 4x, and you may already know what x is. But what we're going to look at is sort of how we can write out a nice solution and how we can act it out with tiles. Um, some people right away are a little bit worried if the variable's on the right side instead of the left. It doesn't matter. We're saying that two things are the same, and it doesn't really matter. Um, this means exactly the same as 4x equals negative 8. If you want to switch it up, go ahead. You certainly don't need to. Okay, negative 8. So my negatives are red. I'll put 8 negatives on here. There we go. So on that side, that balances with four x's. And my x's are green. There. So negative 8 equals 4x. So when I'm writing my algebra, first thing I'll do is I'll just copy exactly the same equation. Negative 8 equals 4x. Alright, so our goal is to figure out what the value of 1x is, or one of the variables. Um, and I think sort of a nice visual way of showing this is if we take these tiles, we're going to leave the same tiles on the same sides, but we really kind of spread them out there into four different groups, and then we can take these and match them also in the four groups. And we can see this whole pile is equal to that whole pile, but also now it's quite clear to see that one of these is equal to one of these groups here. So before I actually sort of move any more tiles, I've just reorganized them so far. Um, we can think about, for our algebra, we have to make explicit like what operation that was. So as we think about it, I'll just copy down what we had before. Um, so we had, on each side, we had a, 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 I guess, kind of group of, a group of little plastic things, a group of algebra tiles, and then we split them into four equal size groups. So that was the vision. We just divided by four there when we split into the equal size of groups. So we'll write that operation over here in our algebra side. I like to write this division sign here. Um, but if someone preferred, you could write a different division sign. There are several division signs. If you wanted to write this one here, divided by 4, divided by 4, that would be perfectly fine. Um, and like I've said before, if you have a second color, it's kind of nice to show what you're doing in the second color, just to make it easy to compare. Make sure you did the same thing on both sides. Okay, so we've split into our groups, and when we divide, we split into groups, and then we think about how much is in one group. So this, sometimes people get this mixed up with subtraction because it feels like we're taking it away. But really, maybe a better way of explaining is that we're looking at how much is in one group here. So this is what we have, and if I consider negative 8 divided by 4, that is negative 2, and 4x divided by 4, there's different ways to think about what this means. One of them is to look at the picture and see what we have here. Another way is to say, think about that being x times 4 and then divided by 4, and these are opposite operations, so they undo each other. Um, 
But if I had four x's and I divided into four groups, I had to just have one x. And of course, that was the whole point. Our goal was to isolate x, to just get an x all alone on one side of the balance or on one side of the equation, and to see what um, it, our value of x has to be. So our solution here is x equals negative 2. And then we'll just do a quick check. If you don't write this down, depending on what your teacher says, you should write it down or not, but you should always do it. You want to at least sort of think here about does this value for my variable make the equation true? So I'm going to start just quickly by copying down the equation that I had. Um, and so I'm going to replace my x with negative 2. So that x there... I'm going to replace with negative 2. So I'm going to ask myself, is negative 8 equal to, or the same as, 4? And then here we have to be a bit careful with how we write this, because if I just write a negative 2 right here, we might think that it was 4 subtract 2, but it isn't. We know that this 4x here means 4 times x. So you can write a little a time symbol. I don't like to write a little x because I get it mixed up with my variable. So I prefer to substitute um, the value of x in brackets. And I read that as 4 times negative 2. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Yes, so negative 8 is equal to 4 times negative 2. So we can just write yes. And then I write a check mark as a little shorthand to say yes, therefore my solution is correct. So the solution to this equation, with algebra we get negative 2 equals x. And with our algebra tiles, we got negative 2 is the same as x. And then we even double-checked it. We wrote it out beautifully. And so this is the solution to this equation right here. Thanks.